John Hughes is an American director best known for his 80s teen comedy movies. John Hughes was born on February 18, 1950 in Lansing, Michigan. During his early years, John was a quiet kid until him and his family moved to Chicago in the seventh grade. When he lived in Chicago, Hughes attended Glenbrook North High School, which had a massive effect on both his films and his life. One of his most notable films, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, was released in 1986. This is regarded as his best film, and it makes the best use of his first trope, which is Chicago as a setting. This trope has a great effect on the film, because the city of Chicago is very important to Hughes, and he chose to film many famous locations, such as the Chicago Art Institute and the Sears Tower. Ferris, you think the car's all right? Sure. This is the world's tallest building. Ferris, I don't feel too good. Can we leave soon? Here, climb up on this. Come on, everybody. Cameron. Okay, now. Lean forward against the glass like this. Mm. Oh, my God. Isn't that great? The city looks so peaceful from up here. Anything is peaceful from 1,353 feet. I think I see my dad. This relates perfectly to the Coen Brothers trope of using localized accents from the setting and using the setting to progress the plot, just like they do in the movie Fargo, which features Minnesota accents and Minnesota as a setting. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. So. No, oh, jeez. No, I just think I'm gonna barf. Jeez. Oh. The next film that I will be talking about is Sixteen Candles. This was the first film that Hughes directed. Sixteen Candles fits perfectly into the second Hughes trope, which is that he loves writing coming-of-age stories. This also ties in very well with his overarching theme, which is that he loves to explore the teenage psyche. This explains why so many of his films are set in high school, and why they are focused on characters and their development throughout the story. What are you doing here? I heard you were here. The third film I will talk about is The Breakfast Club. This film shows his third trope, which is he likes to cast actors from the famous Brat Pack. All five of the main characters in this film are a part of the Brat Pack, which was a famous group of young actors who ruled the 80s with many teen movies. In 1994, John Hughes retired from filmmaking due to his close friend, John Candy's death. John Hughes passed away on August 6, 2009, due to a severe heart attack. At the 2010 Oscars, many actors from the Brat Pack and actors that he had previously worked with paid tribute to him. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Molly Ringwald and Matthew Broderick. In life, there is always that special person who shapes who you are, who helps you determine the person you become. For me, that person was John Hughes, a brilliant writer, director, and friend who saw something in me at the age of 16 that I didn't even see in myself. But John saw something in all of us. His genius was taking the pain of growing up and relating it to everyone. His gift was creating characters, stories, and truths about being a teen 
and bringing them to film in a way that no one had ever done before. It is why his influence endures. I will remember John Hughes as a master of the 80s teen movies. I hope everybody learned something and thank you for watching.